weeks ago, city officials showed up to take down Omaha's only bike corral. They said the neighborhood needs the parking. Well, now cycling advocates want to know what kind of data officials used to back up that decision. Fox 42's Sydney Holzfaster is in Benson, where that bike corral used to be. And Sydney, engineers told you there is a statistical need for more parking there? Well, money will wait for these traffics. There seems to be an emergency going on behind me, but yes, the bike corral that used to stand right here behind these two cars that were standing right behind me, this is where it all started. City officials say, hey, these were taken out because we need more parking here in Benson, but after a little bit of digging, bike advocates actually say there's been no traffic study and there's no numbers backing the reason behind why the city would take out a corral that used to hold 12 bikes and replace it with a spot that would only fill one car. This was the scene three weeks ago. A bike corral cut out to make room for parking. It took crews about an hour, but cost $600 in labor. Sarah Johnson, who used to own this bike shop here, wanted to know why the city spent the money. This is what city engineer Todd Fitzer told me three weeks ago. We have an overabundance of bicycle parking in this area that is very underutilized statistically and we have a severe shortage of automobile parking. Johnson filed a Freedom of Information Act trying to get the statistics she says he's referring to. We weren't getting straight answers about these studies that they were talking about and the statistics that they were pointing to as justification to remove the corral. So we submitted the FOIA, the information came back. Very short answer, there is no study. There's no studies that were done. I mean, if you drive through Benson and you count the biking availability for parking, there's 30 bike stalls from 60th to 63rd. If you count the automobile parking, there's 84. Fitzer says the corral was installed at the request of a business that's since closed down. That's Johnson's bike shop, so it wouldn't matter if it was taken out, but that's not the case. City Councilman Pete Festerson tells me the Benson Business Improvement District requested it for the neighborhood back in 2013. We worked together with the community, uh, both with the Business Improvement District and with bicycle advocates at the time to get that placed. BID members say they weren't told about the bike rack coming out and Sarah says it feels like there's no way to get it back. The city is not listening to its citizens and we are paying their paychecks and it feels like a bad relationship. Festerson says he's been actually working with members of the BID on a new mobility study to try to figure out a way that they can bring in more parking both for bikes and for cars. In Benson, Sydney Holes Faster, Fox 42 News. All right, Sydney. The Omaha Active Living Advisory Committee will have a meeting tomorrow at 3 p.m. to discuss the future of the Benson Bike Corral.